Below is the function f of x. Over which intervals of x is f prime greater than zero? Well, let's think about what it means for that to happen. So if f prime is greater than zero, then what we can tell about the original function f of x is that f is increasing. So all of the y values are getting larger. All right, so we want to know which intervals that's occurring. So it looks like going from left to right, which is how we read graphs, up into this particular point right here, the function is increasing. And then after that point, the function is decreasing. So uh, over the intervals from negative infinity up to this particular point right here. So uh, negative infinity to negative 3. And we're not going to include the point itself because technically there it's neither increasing or decreasing, or you can think of it as it doing both. So we'll just leave it as uh, leave it out of this interval. All right, and then over which intervals is x less than zero? Well, it would have been less than zero from three, uh, sorry, from negative three, and then off to infinity. And over the interval negative infinity to positive infinity. This function is concave up or concave down. Well, concave up, you look like a parabola facing up. So that's concave up. And if it looks like a parabola facing down, then that's concave down. All right, so uh, this particular graph, it's pretty straightforward. It is a parabola facing down, so the whole thing is concave down. So that's our uh, answer for the last one.